New this year, an event where you can discover heirloom quality jewelry, painting, ceramics, pottery, glass, fiber, even sculptures. We're on your block in Brighton for the Street Art Fair. Rochelle, you're showing us what's on display. I absolutely am. I'm here with artist Crystal Serna and Daniel Sharon from the Street Fair. Thanks so much for being on with us this morning. Thank you so much for having us. Yet another event we can look forward to here in Metro Detroit. Why are events like this so important for the community? Well, it's so important because it gets people into the communities, into the places like downtown Brighton, uh, to see the shops, the restaurants, and such wonderful artists and art uh, that people do. Absolutely. Okay, tell me a little bit about the pieces you brought today. I am loving like the vases and just from a distance. It looks so beautiful. Thank you. So I brought pieces from my newest series of um, flowers, floral paintings, but what I love to paint are things that have a lot of color and I always include some sort of transparent or reflective element. Mm -hmm. So the flowers were a perfect subject for me. I can get all the color I want in the blooms and then put them in a vase and I've got my glass that I love to paint. Gorgeous. Okay, how long, I'm just curious, how long did that one take you there? You know, it's so hard to say because I do this as my full-time profession, so it's like mm -hmm. running your own business. And rarely do I actually get to sit down at my canvas for hours at a time. I'm always running around doing the website, Multi doing shows. And yeah. <laughs> depending on luck, what I've got on my schedule, it could be as fast as two days or as long as a month. Wow. Okay. So a lot of love going into these pieces. Your organization responsible for producing Ann Arbor Art Fair, two events in Birmingham, one in Royal Oak, one in Toledo. I understand this is your first in Brighton. Talk about that success and kind of the spread. Yeah, well, I mean, the Ann Arbor Art Fair is just such a wonderful Huge. event, and we're bringing that to downtown Brighton. Uh, there's been art fairs in the past in Brighton, but none that the Guild of Artists and Artisans has done. Uh, and so in downtown Brighton, there is uh, a new downtown. They redid the streets. It's right on Mill Pound with great, lots of great so restaurants and shops for people to experience. It's really a perfect way to end the summer. I lived in Fenton for a long time, and Brighton is where we had to go for extra civilization and yeah, shopping so you know. and restaurants. It's <laughs> so beautiful. You know. yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, what types of activities that people want to come out, maybe with the family, bring along the kiddos? Yeah, so if you're looking for a date night or a time with your family, Family, it's really the perfect event. Uh, there are art, uh, not only for the artists, uh, but there are shops to shop at, restaurants to experience, art activities, even live bands that are going to be there uh, Friday and Saturday night. What's it mean to you to be a part of this? Oh, I love being able to do shows in my area. Um, I make a living by traveling around the country doing these full time. And so whenever I get to be back home in you know, the area with people I know are going to come see me and family and friends, it's really special. All right, where can people go for more information? What are the specifics? Uh, they can go online to the Guild of Artists and Artisans, and uh, it's going to be Friday from uh, Friday 5 to 8, Saturday 10 to uh, 8, um, and Sunday 10 to 4.